Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here. Welcome to my channel. And how are you all doing today? It is a beautiful day here in Texas, which I'm thankful for, and it's actually kind of cool. I mean like 70s, which is very nice and low humidity. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. But today, what I have for you, after I welcome each and every one of you, thank you for returning. And I really appreciate you when you take a little bit of time out of your day to see what I have. And today what I have is my update from the, the hashtag 2022 Advent Calendar Project. This is a project that Helene of HMM Makeup and Paula, a guru, made me do it, put together a few years ago. And I think we're into our third year. So I was part of it in 2021. I really enjoyed it. You get an opportunity to use a product that's just sitting there and it can be samples, it can be half used products, it can be full products, it can be whatever you want it to be. So I have six that I'm working on and then my update is probably pretty slim this month. I have made progress and we will see that and we'll start off with my two palettes that I'm working on for the year. I've got two Estee Lauder palettes, one for my 2021 Estee Lauder Christmas and one from my Estee Lauder Goddess. And the one for Christmas, I do use these every day, but you can't tell it. I don't even know if there's an impact on them, <laughs> but I do use these almost every day. It's just a little goes a long way is all I have to say. And on my Bronze Goddess palette, I have made some more progress with it. I hit pan in another color. So I've hit pan in one, two, three, four. Four colors. When we last seen this, I had panned in the white color, the um, gold color, and the, I guess, bronzy color. And now I have panned in this green just right here. So very little pan, but hey, it's progress. And that is a great progress report because my goal is to hit pan in all of these colors before the end of the year. So I've got several to go. And you can see on this one, it's gonna be difficult if I'm using it regularly. And the colors are, you know, they're pigmented well, so they go a long ways. But I'll continue to work on that. My other products that I had were my Estee Lauder Nutritious Face Cream, the Estee Lauder Nutritious Lotion, and the Buxom Lip Gloss, and Love Pop Clinique Lipstick. Now, I did finish a couple of things, so let's go over which two I finished. I did finish the Estee Lauder Nutritious pomegranate face cream and I liked it very much and I would definitely purchase this again it went on really smooth it didn't leave my face oily or anything it worked really well and I also finished the nutritious pomegranate lotion now this lotion is perfect for like hot humid weather because it's a lot moisturizer you don't need a whole lot and I enjoyed using this and sometimes I even used it in conjunction together now, I used this one up first, and I brought in another product, and the product I brought in was the Clinique Moisture Surge. So I'm working on that. And then when I finished this, and I drew again, and I brought in the Estee Lauder, the Smoother. This is a perfecter. It's kind of got silicone in it, and it's Universal Perfecting Primer, and I really like this primer. So these are the products that I'm working on currently. With the Estee Lauder primer, you can't really tell, and I can't really tell. I'm about right here, so I have mm, pretty much to go. I'll probably be finished with this by the next, by the end of next month. And on the Clinique, I am getting very close to being finished. Matter of fact, I'll probably finish this before too long actually but it's got at least another week maybe to go maybe not depends if I use it twice a day or once a day and then my lipstick I've made great progress it was a full stick and I've got it down to probably about half so I'm real happy about that and the one product that I did try to use a little bit more was this Buxom Dolly 
liquid lipstick and I'm sorry guys I just don't like it and I've made the decision to pull it out I am gonna replace this product I just I don't like it so this one is coming out of the program and I'm going to draw a new one and I'm on door number 18 right here and in case I didn't mention that the advent calendar project you can have an old advent calendar that you can use or you can just cut up little pieces of paper and put your 24 or 20 products in a bowl or in a box and draw as you use up product. And we usually start off with five to six products. So I am on door 18 and we're gonna find out what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna take out the buxom. I'm actually gonna throw it in the trash because I don't like it, but I'm not gonna use a product I don't like. I'm, I've tried enough, I don't wanna do it. Okay, looks like I selected the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro Bright C and that is right here and this is a product that I've used before and I really like it so I'm really looking forward to it because I think in my empties which I've already done my empties but I think I just finished or almost finished my vitamin C serum so it'll be nice to have another vitamin C serum to add to my little regiment. For my next month, I'll be working on the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro Bright Plus C. I'll be working with the Estee Lauder Perfecting Primer. I'll be working with the Clinique Moisturizer, and this is a 72 hour moisture surge, and I really like it. And then I will also be working with my Clinique Lipstick. And it's possible that, I don't know if I'll be finished with it, but it is possible that I'll have it down to almost being finished. I think I went through almost half, so it really just depends, but I really like the color. It'll be easy to use it. So, and as far as my palettes, yeah, I'll be working on this. We'll see how far I get, see if I can make pan. I don't think I'll make pan on any of these in the next month, but it's possible for me to make pan on another one of these. I'm gonna keep on trying. And that is my update for April 2022. And I look forward to coming back and let's see what I get done in May and see if I can finally move through my lipstick. I feel confident that I'll probably get through these products, these three. I think I'll have them done and maybe have pulled in other ones by then. And as far as my palettes, hmm, we'll see where we go with that. But I do use them every time I put on makeup. I alternate kind of back and forth. Um, today, I have on most of the bronze goddess is what I have on my eyes today. So I used the two browns here. I used a little of that, a little of this, and I used some of this. And then I've got this in my crease. I do try to use everything. And I really like this project. So if you just got stuff sitting around and you need something to get you motivated, this is a great project for that. And I have really enjoyed it. And I think you would too if you're trying to use up product that's just sitting around, little samples and or products that are half used. It'll help you stay focused. But that is my update for today. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know down the bottom. If you want to sign up and join in, you got questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. But as for today, that's all I have. So as usual, I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.